you first. Oh, no. <laughs> See, I didn't know Jade until he came up here. I think it's lucky that we did meet. You could be my grandson, <laughs> age-wise, you know. My name is Jaden Evans. I don't often eat leaves that are so, so stringently resistant to forks. <laughs> <laughs> I study languages. I enjoy Olympic weightlifting. I am employed as a support worker. I work with other people on the autism spectrum and I am a volunteer with the Community Visitor Scheme. I was referred by a good friend of mine at the Gympie Regional Volunteer Centre. So I began to see Neville before the pandemic, sometime in 2019. I was shy, I always am when I go in to meet new people, especially in a formal arranged situation. When people first come in, it's a big change in their life. I've been involved with the Community Visitor Scheme for about 12 years and I've paired quite a few residents with visitors. This is the first time we've had someone young. I am 24 years old. Neville is turning 90. That allows an age gap of, yes, 66 years, which is quite an immense amount of time. Oh, Joan? I was surprised by my ability to have been motivated to sustain that friendship throughout the pandemic. And I called Neville, sent him letters and postcards in the absence of being able to see him. And I cannot always cope well with transition, so I go from seeing someone on a regular occasion and then I need to redevelop the routine of seeing him. And it was at that time in my life and entering my adulthood that my time with Neville, together in tandem with all the other experiences I was having, it was working all together to help socialise me in different areas. I feel fortunate that I grew up in Gimby. It's a good town. They used to call me the Mayor of Mary Street. <laughs> Mary Street, their main street, was a big part of my life. And when I opened my menswear store in 1975, there was four other menswears as well. 36 years I had the menswear store. I'd still be there if I could. <laughs> I enjoyed it all. And I worked till I was 79. I always wanted to do one. I said, well, I'm going to try it. And if I go broke, no, it's only going to be me that gets hurt, you know. I just feel comfortable talking with young people. I've always have done. I enjoy young people's company. I think it keeps you young thinking. Often we try and match visitors with people who don't get many visitors. They're their special visit. They come to spend time with just that one person and it makes such a difference to their life. Knowing that somebody else wants a bit of your company or something, you know, it just uh, really bucks you up. I think we're both lucky that we met like this and, and we continued the friendship.